What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stream on Facebook, YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. So let's say that you have a big wide of an audience, but it's actually developed on like, and it's divided as well in like different pages. You have a big following on Facebook, on YouTube and on Twitch at the same time. And you want to basically reach all of them or just go live on any platform that you want on multiple platforms that you like instead of just one, for example, like YouTube. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that with Restream.io. Now, if you guys want to learn more about how to stream on multiple websites at the same time, make sure to check out the first link down in the description that will bring you to the Restream.io website so you can learn more. So with that all the way, let's go ahead and get started streaming on multiple platforms at the same time right after the intro. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are on Restream.io. And the first thing that we need to do in order to stream on multiple websites is we need to link, obviously, our social media channels such as Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. So of course, we're going to start off with this icon, which says Facebook Live. So we're going to click on there. Then it's just going to basically prompt us this box where we can log in into Facebook. All right, so as you can see right now on this screen, it says Restream.io is going to receive your name, profile picture, and videos. You can also hit edit if you want to, if you don't want to give like certain permissions. But I'm just going to continue as myself. All right, so as you can see right now, we have our Facebook account linked to it. So we're going to add in another channel because we're going to be streaming on multiple platforms at the same time. So we're going to also link our YouTube channel. So I'm going to click on connect YouTube events. And what they mean with YouTube events, it's pretty straightforward. Nowadays, it's called YouTube events events on YouTube if you want to stream because of course like linking your own channel is also possible if you want to click for example like set up manually if you're going to click on there you need to go ahead and for example pick your uh, primary YouTube server so right here we have stream URL and that basically means that you need to fill in the URL of your live stream so if you created an event you will automatically get a URL you want to paste that in right there and your stream key can be found while you're setting up your event on YouTube you will get a stream key and all that you can just fill fill that in and then you can for example click on add channel what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to click on connect youtube events so right here it says restream wants to access your google account this will allow restream to see edit and permanently delete your youtube videos ratings comments and captions of course they're not going to do that but that's just the permissions you need them to give in order to stream on your channel they can also see your youtube account they can also view the youtube analytics but this is just basically for the purpose of being able to go live on youtube so we're going to click on allow okay so right here as you can see it will prompt you this box where it says edit channel settings youtube events so the server is going to be the primary one but then you can also choose the event where you want to stream to so let's say that you create an event on your youtube channel it is private for example because it's not you know happening yet you can just for example also choose this one for example vegas pro 18 live lessons that i might do in the future that's a private of course event on my channel you can also just go ahead and click on that one if you want to stream to that specific you know live show but then we're going to also get, file in the title it's, i think it's pretty straightforward that if we're going to click on the event it will have the same title and also the same category. Restream.io is basically taking all this information straight from your event that you created on YouTube. So there's no need to actually fill that in all over again while you already did that on YouTube in the first place. Okay, so then we're gonna click on save. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to link our Twitch channel. So that's what we're gonna do as well. We're going to hit add channel at the top. And then we're gonna see for the Twitch icon, which is the second one right here. We're gonna also connect our Twitch. All right, guys, so right here next to the add channel button, we have an update titles one. So if you have, for example, not set up an event on Facebook and Twitch, but you have one on YouTube, but you want to give all the same events that you're streaming to at the same time, the same title as well, you can just click on update title, type in, for example, I'm just going to use in my case, Vegas Pro 18 live lessons you can fill in your description you can just copy and paste that from youtube or wordpad or basically any description that you like and then you can also decide if it's gaming content or not you can also choose your game which one you're streaming i'm not gonna you know check that because i'm not gaming on that event and then you can just click on update all okay so now at the bottom it is all updated so if you're going to go live they will all have the same titles on youtube facebook and twitch vegas pro 18 live lessons so now we're going to go back to the dashboard and right here on the very right you can basically use your camera if 
if you want to go ahead and stream. So we're going to click on enter live studio and then it's just going to basically prompt your a webcam. But of course, my webcam is not plugged in right now. So of course, it's not going to find it. It says retry over and over again because I don't have my camera or anything of my microphone set up yet. That's how you can go live. But of course, nowadays, if you want to stream on multiple sites such as YouTube and Facebook and, and all these things, you want to have basically an external streaming service or a program rather than just your webcam or talking unless you want to do like a Q&A or whatever then you can use that but if you're going to go ahead and stream games of course you want to have the gaming screen with a face cam and then all the pop-ups and that's what we're going to cover in the next video as well because this is just a part of a three video series so I'm not going to go ahead and go over all the things you need to do when it comes to like settings in OBS you know setting up your layouts and all that that's what we're going to save for another video so now you guys know how to stream on multiple platforms on Facebook YouTube and Twitch using your webcam and your microphone phone and all that but of course like I've mentioned in the next video we're going to cover up how to actually do that in OBS and how to go live from OBS and switch back and forth between scenes create layouts so guys make sure to stay tuned for the next video and this is it of course for part one all right guys so that is how to do it this is how you stream on YouTube Facebook and Twitch at the same time it is very very simple just using one service which is of course restream.io and you can go live on any platform that you like so you can reach the most amount of people whether they are or online on Facebook or Twitch or whatever instead of just one platform. I want to thank Restream for sponsoring this video like I've mentioned in the intro as well. If you guys want to learn more about this website and this service make sure to check out the first link down in the description and I'll see you guys obviously in the next video.